history. Okay, we will start with the first question related to the vocabulary words we took. Choose, choose the correct meaning. Afford. Yes? Take. You agree? Yes. Okay, the second word. Who is going to read this word? Hands up only. Yes, Hamad? What do we mean by prosper? Choose one of the answers. Succeed or lack. Which one? Huh? Do you agree? Yes. 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 Three, Mariam. Read it, please. Yes. Excellent. Payments received. Thank you. Let's move to the other one. Okay. Circle the correct vocabulary words for the meaning below. I put you another word. I wrote another word. You have to go back to what we studied and use the, the correct vocabulary word. Uh, Fatima, do first one, please. Yes. Okay. Which word we use to explain less? Yes. Scared. Great. The second one. Danger. Yes, Dewey? Risk. Risk. Do you agree? Yes. yes. Norjan, please, number three, the third one. Loan. Loan. Great. Let's move to the other slide. It talks about the spelling lesson we took. Can you remind me of the spelling lesson we took? Yes? What was the lesson? What's the name? Uh, what kind of a dream? Again, please. Great. Short vowel sound. Yes. Circle the word that has a short vowel sound. The first row, nickname, nice. Who knows? Habib, please. Great. Second one. Who will read them and then choose? Serene, yes. Bake. Yes. And? Ben, great, thank you. What makes the short sound here? Which letter? Which vowel? Eh. Which vowel? And eh. Ben. Eh. eh sound. But what, what's the letter? Yes? Rena? E. Thank you. Third one. Cut, cold, cool. Huh, Alex? Cut. Cut. Thank you. Four. Question four. Here? This is a tricky one. Find the word that seems long, but they are short. Mention the tricky letters. When you pick them, just tell me what were the tricky letters. Okay, Jad? Light. Light is lie, I, long vowel. Where is the short? Yes? Bread. Bread and? What are the tricky letters used? It is O, 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 and U, and in the bread, what are the two letters? E, A. E, A. Great. Thank you very much. Go to the passage here. You see this passage down? Who is going to read it? Me. Huh? Yes? Start. Did Mama sing every day as to kill every single day? He sat close to the fire, his chin in his hand. It was dusk, and the dogs lay beside him on the warm hearth stones. Every single day, I told him for the set, second time this week, for the twentieth time this month, hundred time this year, and the past few few years. And did Papa sing too? Yes, Papa sang too. Don't get close to don't get close, Caleb. You'll heat up. You will heat up. Can you tell me what's the genre of this passage? The genre, what we studied. Yes? Great. How did you know that this is realistic fiction? Sorry? Real? Okay. Can you show me any event here that show you that this is a real story? Real characters, real events. Yes, Serena? Sorry? 
Did mama sing every day? Yes, we can sing in real life, right? This is true. Then, Nurjan? Okay. What does this mean? Hmm? Uh, repeated words, and this is something we do in our life, yes? Do we? Uh, the setting is real. Setting is real, yes. Thank you. Move to another. Now we come to the grammar. Add the correct punctuation mark. That means the end mark we should add to the sentence. And down you have the blue word. It is related to the sentence type. One, I love this amazing view. Karim? I love this amazing view. What kind of sentence it is? Yes? We put exclamation mark. Good. Okay. Can you go down to the sentence type and tell me what type is it, Karim? A question, B command, C statement, D exclamatory. What is it? What type of sentence? Okay, so what do I write on exclamatory side here? One, it is one. Yes. Go to two. Read it. Read it, Amir. Okay. Question mark. Okay. Down. Question. So what do we write next to A? It is two. Let's continue. I'll read number three. Did will did dad will buy me a new tablet? Huh, Fatma? Dad will buy me a new tablet. It's a what's the end mark? Period. And it's a statement. So C is a three. Four, read it. Honey, who will read? Mariam, read the last one, please. Please keep copy books on the shelf. Yes? Come on. Good. What's the end mark? Period. And it's come on. Thank you very much. Move to question uh, six. Use this illustration to make a short writing descriptive topic. You see this illustration? What do I mean by illustration? What's this? Six. Huh? What do you see down? What's this? What is it? Is it a text written down or a passage or or a picture or a picture? A picture. What's this? Picture. This is illustration. It's the picture, honey. Now you have a subject. I want you to use the subject of school and tell me sentences about school to make a writing topic. We want to use descriptive words. Yes. Start. Then we have to story in grade four. Start. In school, we learn different kinds of subjects. Okay. Give me sentence about the school. Um, As a beginning. School is a fun place. School is a fun place. What is the word that is used here and it shows description? We are describing the school as? Fun. Great, fun. Another sentence, please. To the school. Yes, Philip? Uh, this school, we have, um, uh, we have a swimming pool. Yes, another sentence, please. Our school is a food. She used a descriptive word. What was the word huge? Okay, if I ask, tell me or give me an impression about this school. How do you feel? Yes, Jack? This school is amazing. This school is amazing. You know, all the sentences you said, we can make them to write a topic sentence, a paragraph. Yes, to make a paragraph with a topic sentence. 
What was the topic sentence? The subject, who? We talked about who? School. School, yes. More? Uh, this is my friendly letter to you. Dear friend, you are my friends actually. So, friends and students. Dear students, the worst thing about making a mistake is being afraid to make one. I want to say these words for some of you, or I can say for you all in general, because honey, it is not wrong if we made a mistake, it's wrong not to correct this mistake or change it to the positive, okay? We have usually not to be scared from making mistakes. We have to, okay, we did a mistake, we can change it, and we can, yes, we can make corrections. We can erase, we can delete and correct our mistakes and make them correct ones, okay? So don't be scared if, may, if you make any mistake. With time, you get informed, you get information, and you can correct it, okay? So this is my friendly letter to you. So don't be afraid of making a mistake. I'm by your side. If you want to help in English, in any subject, I'm ready to. Thank you very much. I'm so proud of you. Thank you.